fear. Oh, oh god, oh god. So we got bitten and thrown. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my beautiful wife, Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 1, Episode 7 of Solo Leveling. Let's see how far I can go. All Let's. right. Yes, we uh, ended last episode with Jinu completely slaughtering all those people that tried to lure him. I'm really looking forward to seeing how mentally he deals with the aftermath of that. Yeah, because this is his first time killing other humans. Exactly. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. I wonder how he's going to be affected or if he's going to be affected. But Hopefully uh, he is. Yeah. I mean. If you're excited for more episodes of Solo Leveling, make sure to like and subscribe down below for episodes coming every Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes along with episodes of our other series, Jujutsu Kaisen, My Hero Academia, Invincible, and Demon Slayer, check out the Patreon link in the description below where they're all posted in their extended full-length forms. All right, are we excited for episode seven of Solo Leveling? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Heads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes! Excuse me, Manager Wu? Something the matter? Sir, take a look at this. A C rank dungeon raid consisting of eight hunters, six of whom were killed in action. A D rank and an E rank are the only ones who made it out alive. I imagine they fled. Happens all the time. You would think, but they defeated the boss and cleared the dungeon before leaving. D-Rank Hunter Jin Ho Yu seems to have been armed with expensive gear that might explain how the two lowest rank were able to survive- What's the issue then? You're making a report here, not stating a problem. Oh, right. What caught my attention is that the other hunter was also a survivor of that double dungeon incident. It's Jin Yu Sung, sir. He was the E-Rank? Hmm. Yes, and another thing worth noting, sir, is that one of the six deceased is Dong Se Kwang. Hmm. The infamous Dong Su Huang's older brother. I can see why you brought this to me. I'm home. So they're kind of hey, noticing it's right? a little fishy. What happened? Yeah. There? Is that fried chicken? What's the occasion? Something good must have happened. Uh, could be good, could be bad. I'm not really sure yet. Yeah. Let's yeah. just say I've got our bills covered for now, including mom's. Yeah, that's not weird at all coming from a cheapskate like you. I've been meaning to ask about how that thing went. Hmm? Your rate. Clearly it paid well enough, but you didn't end up in the hospital this time, so your party was super strong, right? <laughs> yeah, guess so. I defeated I all of them. I the bad guys easily. I really did. When the time came, I didn't hesitate for a second. If anything, I resented them for thinking they were even close to my league. Wow. I definitely would have tried to find a way out of it. Has leveling up also made me braver. Those weren't magic beasts, though. They were humans. Do you know? <sighs> hey, uh, is everything all right with you over there? Yeah, thought I might have forgotten to grab the change, but I was wrong. What do you make of uh, that sort of? That is pattern? so interesting. I'm. What do you think about? I'm stunned at how quickly he went from experiencing this like insane phenomenon and realizing like wow this is crazy to completely assimilating that into oh yeah this is just like my regular setup this is my everyday this is like wow you even think you're as good as me. like his mindset that shifting. was so fast yeah I don't, that was so unsettling yeah i wow his and like the way his voice and inner voice has shifted like the mm -hmm. voice actor does a great job i feel like yeah. portraying it like it, like if you compared this to the guy we met right, in episode one, it's like different people. Not yeah, the same guy. I might have forgotten to grab the change, but I was wrong. Uh, man, are you serious? Is that all? Uh. Ah, screw it. What matters is getting stronger so I can stay alive and help my family. Whoever tries to stop me will be just as dead. Hmm? What? A harmful substance. Hmm. Oh. In the drink? Detox. Yeah. Oh, because it's alcohol. Oh. Right, I'm finished. Is he gonna like lose health and agility oh, well, or something? You're really done. Mm. Is it okay if I eat the rest? Sure, but don't cry to me when you put on weight. <laughs> Weird thing to say. 
I'm not even buzzed. A buff from the system must be killing the effects of the alcohol. Like a <laughs> status effect, maybe? Huh? A blessing? Health and longevity. Uh, Courage of the weak. So that's what he got from uh, the initial... The that, that was the initial thing. Courage of the weak was the name of the first mission. Gotcha, like gotcha, when gotcha. he got murdered in that first dungeon, he completed the quest Courage of the Week, right. and this is one of the things that he gets, which is health and longevity, disables toxic and abnormal mm. conditions, improves regeneration. Gotcha. Regenerative capacity. That's right. My reward for the double dungeon. So much has happened since then, I guess I never checked it out. Certainly explains why my oh, missing God. limbs came back. Uh, but there's still a lot I don't know. Hey, sorry to bother you, but you've got a call from some guy named Jinho Yu. Huh? Be right there. Huh? And Jinho's the guy voiced by Deku's voice. <laughs> Poison in a camp. I'm not dying from beer, Tina. Uh, when I become a doctor, don't expect me to treat you. <laughs> I know this is out of the blue, so thanks for meeting me. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I'm glad, though. I'd be a dead man if it weren't for you, boss. Yeah, wow. Giving me your share of the Essence Stones helped me out, too. And you've kept quiet. So I consider us pretty much square. Anyway, what's up? I'd really like to put together a strike team and thought That's that you would... That's a hard would... pass. Uh, uh, you're gonna decline without hearing any details? Didn't even hear, yeah. I'm not yeah. interested in humoring some trust fund kid. Just 20 raids! No, 19 more is all I ask! Oddly specific. What, do you want to be a guild master? Exactly, so hear me out, boss. I'm begging you. Fine, go on. <gasps> okay. I figure you know the steps to become a guild master since you caught on so quickly. But yes, I need at least 20 raids worth of experience to get my license, and I'm 19 away. I haven't done any more since the one we did. There's a written test too, but I've studied my whole life to inherit Yujinko, so I'll ace that. It's just the hands-on stuff. You're the second son of Eugene Construction CEO. Mm. This is all related to the company, believe it or not. You see, my father is in the process of forming a guild. For a construction company? Yes. As dangerous as dungeons are, the treasures inside them justify the risk. Essence stones and mana crystals are only the tip of the iceberg. The remains of higher ranked beasts are used for a number of things. If it's found in a dungeon, chances are it holds some monetary value. So, basically, you want a group of hunters who you employ to go around clearing gates. Then your corporation cashes in. Man, you are sharp. Yeah, my dad wants to run the guild like a business, so he'll hire an S-rank hunter to be the leader, and then my brother will be the VP. An S-rank? There are seven in the whole country. The only one not so only seven. the guild wow. is Yang Gumin, but he retired already. Wait, so he's gonna poach one of them? Uh, You'll gain a leader, but you'll also make an enemy. Sure, but since my brother hasn't awakened, he's out of the running completely. So you're gonna rack up enough experience to be qualified and change your father's mind. Yes, that's the goal. So help yourself by helping me. You want to raid while hiding your power, don't you? And I want to raid with hunters who are lower ranked. If I can succeed with an E rank as opposed to an S, my dad would be much more convinced. I'm putting this together myself because I don't think I fully thought this through. I think he wants to be VP instead of his brother and wants to do it by raiding dungeons with lower people to show I'm the leader of this group and I am succeeding in these dungeons. Right. You should make v me VP rather than my brother who hasn't awakened. Yeah, I can do more or better with less than he does, so make so me you're VP. Rack up yeah. Experience to be qualified. Using his Major low function. rank as like a yes, token is so crazy. It's smart. Well, yeah, power, but. Don't you? Rude. <laughs> well, he wants to hide his power, is the thing. Yes. <laughs> it's not really rude if his. He literally said, You're. One of the reasons that I'm happy with you is you're keeping the secret. I guess. Okay. It's a mutually beneficial. Th this situation. is why he's bringing it up. Right. It's like, This All is right. kind of. You want to raid while hiding your power, don't you? And I want to raid with hunters who are lower ranked. If I can succeed with an E rank as opposed to an S, my dad would be much more convinced. Boss has to be B rank. No, he's way stronger. Picking the wrong person for this could get me killed. Yeah, what our rank Jinu is now. Mm hmm Take a look. He just that implied he's either A or S. Mm -hmm. It's appraised for 30 billion and will keep going up. 19 successful raids from now, it's all yours. 
19 C rank reigns for 30 billion. There was a time I would have jumped at an offer like that, but now I'm the sole person who can level up, and that changes things. If I keep increasing my stats, I could even reach S rank. Or maybe go beyond that. 30 billion is honestly chump change with that in mind. And I'm still not sure how well that will affect me. So I really don't like the idea of working with somebody else. It's just too risky. I'm sorry. Uh, boss, hang on! Work with me on this. And I swear to you, I'll take your secret to the grave! Is he gonna just kill him? I want to okay. leave him. Okay. Survivors. Get me their info ASAP. So, uh, what did you make of that interaction? Wow. Like, that's a pretty phenomenal offer that he yeah. was just given. The fact that he's turning that down on the basis of this hypothetical future potential level, when, like, he could lose this situation and go back to where he was before as quickly and unexpectedly as it started. Why do you think that? Because it just happened out of nowhere. If it's unprecedented, you don't know that it's going to continue. The idea that like you've been shitty at something your entire life and then out of nowhere, you can just gain in leaps and bounds because of this like random shit you're seeing that's popping up around you and you're going to go, yeah, I'm definitely going to have this forever. What is the other way he could have done that if he didn't think it was normal? Like, what would he have done in that circumstance if he thought what you think he should be thinking? It's not so much that his actions would be different so much as his thought process. What would his thought process difference be? I'm not sure how long I'm going to have this potential, so I should gather resources for my family while I can, instead of completely leaving all of this on the table when you don't know with certainty you're going to be able to go back and get it. Okay, that that's an interesting notion. Like, I guess he hasn't really considered the fact that it could go away and he should take the money as it is. But I feel like if he was fearing that notion, he would be less inclined to take it because it might be worse to get signed onto a contract and not be able to complete it than to not take the contract and then lose your powers and be like, well, at least I didn't sign up for anything. Like, Yeah, I think that's the same level of risk of just like going on random raids like he was before where like you say you're going to do something like you say you're a certain level actually no yeah it's a little different no, it those is different. random raids yeah. are one-offs and he's not powerful in them the these raids he's specifically or jinho is specifically orchestrating t where he would be required to he do a lot be, of the heavy lifting. yeah okay right yeah i think the the smartest choice would be to do random one-off raids and train separately i want details on the two survivors get me their info i bet you do Mr. Huang? Forgive the intrusion, but I have those documents. I think this is the brother of the guy who died in the dungeon. My brother mm -hmm. was murdered. Yeah. Do you have any evidence that your Intel. brother- Intel. Uh, right. Here you are, sir. Laura, what are the consequences of killing someone abroad? Are you serious? If you do so in a country with an extradition treaty for all hunter-related crimes, you would have to stand trial there. But if they don't have such a treaty, you'd be sent home for prosecution. And in that case? You may be able to negotiate for a reduced sentence if you're tried here. Clear my schedule. Oh. <laughs> Sudden changes will disrupt the guild. Don't like that. To a halt, sir. How far am I booked out? For the immediate future. Then it can wait. Which is? But pencil it in. Of course, Mr. Wong. Thank you for understanding. D rank hunter Jin Ho Yu. E rank hunter Jin Ho Sung. <laughs> How different he looks. Yeah. You bastards better stay alive till I have time to deal with you. Wow. Oh boy. Very scary. Before, so why now? Well, all I ever do is study. It's like super unhealthy. Right, so much worse than eating a whole mountain of chicken. <laughs> hey, uh, if we had 30 billion, what would you do with it? Where is this coming from? <laughs> Just curious. <laughs> hmm. Just ca hypothetically. Sales. And another for college. Then what? Mm, save it? 
I don't know. It's too unrealistic. Like, that's too much money. Don't try to keep up with me, okay? What the heck, Gino? <laughs> Just Jeez, left her in the dust. Extra. <laughs> e for extra. Hmm. Yeah. What rank would you say he is? I would say... Hold on, go well, back. What would... 11 out of 10. Ah. So it tracks how much I run even after I hit the goal. Huh. Do you get anything for it? Let's see how far so he can go. records past it. He's not maxed out. All right, finally. I was starting to think I would never catch up to you. I'm gonna run a little more. More? <laughs> well, see ya. Hmm. Maxed out at 20 kilometers. Okay, there is a maximum. Oh, he's really going for it. The quest became a secret quest because I doubled all of the reps. Ah. Yes. Oh, a choice of random loot boxes. Well, I'm doing the blessed one. Easy. Why would you pick the cursed one ever? <laughs> this is so fun. Yeah. Sick. Another key. A key? Okay. The demon's castle. S rank? What? S rank dungeon key. Wow. There's a magical cure all in there. The elixir of life. Cures all oh, illnesses. For his mom, maybe? Seems too good to be true. But if this elixir really cures any illness, my mind's made up. I'm going. Pretty quick choice to go ahead and go try it. Yeah. The acquisition difficulty probably matches the dungeon's level, which means this one's S rank. Whatever's in here will be on the same level as the Jeju Island dungeon break. The one even S rank hunters couldn't contain. We saw that at the beginning of the series. Mm -hmm. But he just thinks he's going to be fine. Or more, he just Do thinks have a chance against he has to level. get it. Like he's more like, I, there's something to cure my mom in here. I have I to go. I wasn't scared, but the second it gets too intense, I use the teleportation stone I saved from the instance dungeon. Okay. Here we go. I won't give in to fear. I can't get stronger that way. I'll fight. Level up and take what's mine. I refuse to die in a place like this. So red name means it's more powerful than him. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's what they said. Very fast. Uh, I've hardly damaged it, and that's with the buff of my wolf assassin title. <laughs> Yikes, maybe get out of here? Hmm. Oh. No dice, huh? Just give it bad vibes. It just didn't work, it got cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> that happens sometimes in video games. Ah, it didn't work. The the paralysis She's thing not, with the yeah. blade. Holy oh god, oh god. So we got bitten and thrown. Yikes. Oh, he's dying. Gotta use the stone. Or not. Oh, it doubled every stat. From fighting him? Just, it can just do that and it's an oh. ability. Oh, oh. Choice for recovery now. So he's taking the full recovery he gets from every day of training. Mm -hmm. yes, that worked. Uh, uh. Nope, did not work. That was a very cool shot. Thing is giving him the work right now. Yeah. 
the wombo combo? The wombo combo. Did I use yes, that correctly? You did. Fuck yeah. Typically it's two people, but this counts. It's three heads. The warnings won't stop. The system is doing everything it can to ensure I don't die. Because I'm the player. Don't have to be a genius to tell this is far from a normal reawakening. That rage status will go away in three minutes. <sighs> Too risky to test my luck. It might be time to... No! Drop the stone. <sighs> is it even possible to survive this? few more hits and I'm done for, but God. there's got to be a way. Oh, that's right. I have a store. The shop. Okay. It's in my price range. I'll take three. And that this thing it did to increase its stats was a rage, like my barbarian rage. Okay. Enough. It goes away after three minutes. Though. Okay. Dying from beer, Tina. The poison he got from the mm -hmm. snake. Try. So I want you to see the stats it gives him for before he takes it. So it'll increase his damage by 20%. This uh, poison will increases his physical damage negation by 20% and damages his muscles 35%. So essentially it makes him better at taking hits, but worse at giving them out. Okay. Anyway. All right. Yeah. Kind of like an armor buff. Mm -hmm. Poison. Huh? I think. Oh, easy on the beer, dude. It's poison in a can. I'm not dying from beer, Tina. I have to try. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, so he takes wow. twenty percent okay, less damage. Okay. Still taking didn't some, though. help that much, it yes. seems. So the rage oh, is gone. Rage. Okay. And typically, you take damage after your rage ends. Okay, interesting. Or a debuff of some kind. They don't call it a nerf. It's a debuff. Nerf is more permanent than debuff. Ah. Maybe you learn in the terms, but he's Very putting cool. up more of a fight now. Yeah. It's still not going like super great though. Almost. Well, he's lost his little rock. Anyways, Is he gonna find it? Only has 179 HP left. Not looking good. Oof. I feel like we've discovered that that doesn't work. Oh. I think post-rage it's been working. Alright. The blood put out okay. the fires. Okay, alright. Damn. So he defeated the gatekeeper. And leveled up quite a bit. And that I love that he heals, but his shirt doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's a cool way to show that it really is like just him in the game. Yeah. So what do you make of that fight? Wow. I mean, if that's the gatekeeper, he needs to get out. Yeah. Like, like I get the inclination to keep going because that was such a massive effort. But like, if you barely got out of that alive, and he gets this castle door key, so it unlocks the door to the castle, but right. he doesn't have to do it now. He has the key. Okay. So he could come back, right? That's my... Well, I, I won't Hopefully. say anything, okay, but... Okay, yeah. But that was... It was he cool animation on that out, fight, like, too. right now. That fight was amazing. I bet it's where the gate Cerberus was guarding. Oh, what the... It's 
for the mm. No way. This is the formula. Three items. Find They're all in that castle. My limits. <clears throat> okay. I know if I go in that castle, I'll die. So I'll get stronger. Yeah, you got a grasp on how back. strong he is. Fabulous. Count on it. Great plan. All right. all right and that is where we are left for this episode of solo leveling you all will be accompanied by three prisoner substitute hunters who are out on good behavior substitute hunters that's crazy you fight alongside criminals thank you for watching and make sure to like comment and subscribe down below if you enjoyed that episode and are excited for our next episode uh i think we're gonna be skipping 7.5 because it's I think a recap episode. Our next episode is going to be coming next Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our incredible Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions, we answer after every episode we watch and support us as creators. Join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Question one. Ramon Fax asks, based on Genu's fight with Cerberus, do you think the creature was an A rank or a B rank guard? Then what do you think that would put Genu in terms of rank? So the whole... The whole Dungeon is an S rank, but mm -hmm. that creature was just the just gatekeeper. The guard. Where would you rank it? Probably like a high B. Yeah, I. So I can answer this too. I feel like it was. If it's an S rank dungeon, and that is like the gatekeeper, I would guess it was about A rank. Are the gatekeepers supposed to be like. Do you fight. Okay, once you're past the gatekeeper, do you typically fight anyone who was not as strong as the gatekeeper once you're inside? The only way you probably would is if there were multiple of a less strong creature. Okay. Like, okay. It, it wouldn't. It makes sense to have your like most powerful people at like the most protected. I wouldn't go so f as in further into like the for castle. The dun for the dungeon, like it makes sense that they would that it's like an S rank, but the no, guard no. is not yeah. S rank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it was an S rank creature so I, it's got to be a or b mm -hmm. um and the fact that genu beat him i mean what does that say about genu's rank it's like, pretty impressive i mean it it slightly better so either an a or a b whatever we decide on yeah i i think honestly i'd be comfortable saying that genu ranks about a because he beat a b rank well actually no because they was so close mm -hmm. yeah like b, well, when he had uh, to upper, use like a bunch of bonuses does that count as like does that factor in uh yes that actually it, you're pointing out an interesting convention of video games where some so in video games you get they're doing a great job portraying it you often get consumables which are like that snake's yeah, 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 poison yeah, yeah. like and you kind of have to pick and choose when you want to use them because oftentimes if you're in a fight where you're outmatched you can use those to level the playing field which yeah. is what he did because mm -hmm. clearly he was getting absolutely rocked yeah that's sort of helped him get back in the game like in Boulder's Gate, me and Chris have played through it two entire times and like we would always save our things and then we'd get to the final battle and have so many of those consumables that we would never use. So it's really a delegation of like when you want to use them and like yeah. effectively using them. So I was thinking about that mid episode. I was like, oh, he must be beneath this Cerberus because he was using buffs to in, in order to high def beat him. Like, yeah. So he had to buff himself up to get to the level. So, but I'm going to say Cerberus is low A and he's probably mid to high B ranking. All right. And those buffs took him up to low A. That yeah, makes sense. But uh, let's go to our second question. All right. Question two. Lars asks, last episode, Genu said the system wanted him alive, treating the system more like a character than a plot device. Now it suddenly offers him the perfect reward to drive him in the elixir of life for his mom. Do you think it's good luck or is something or someone driving him forward? I definitely don't think it's luck. The elixir of life being given yeah, to him? Like that. The, yeah. It's just it's too perfect for the situation. It seems like he's being manipulated with like a lot of strategy involved. Not sure by who or to what end, but I don't think it's just a coincidence. I agree. And it, it is interesting because I didn't notice it the first time I watched, but at the beginning they'd say a few times like his dad disappeared. Like they just say yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And his mom suddenly gets sick. 
And I'm like, if his dad disappeared, his mom gets sick, and that's the thing that's driving him is to pay for his mom's medical bills. And then the system gives him something to fully help his mom. I wonder if his dad is somehow involved in the system. Like, I doubt he is, but like classic anime dad being gone, kind of like Grisha Yeager type thing. Like, Not just animes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, because well, think about Grisha Yeager. He like left disappeared his son got these powers his mom got killed to drive him forward yeah and then he eventually realizes it was all part of the plan but um the, the thing i want to relate this to is that with all those people last episode he killed it said you have to kill them or your heart will stop the mm -hmm. system said so the system wanted him to kill there your presumption at the time i think or what you were insinuating is like yeah well it's he would have been killed if he didn't do that so he had to kill them mm -hmm. this time it was telling him run away it was not telling him to kill service it was saying get out of there you have no chance yeah so it's clear that the system isn't just kill or be killed it's trying to find a way for him to survive and push him a certain direction. Yeah. What do you make of the difference between the way it responded mm -hmm. to him being faced with people less powerful than him and him being faced with somebody more powerful? My interpretation of it was that the game wanted different things from him at different times. Maybe it told him to get out with Cerberus because the game didn't think that he could win or like the set, like just yeah. that, he, that he was outmatched. Yeah. Like if maybe if he's in a situation where he, it's something he, has the ability to do, then the game tells him, do whatever. I'm expecting this same thing to happen in the future in different contexts, where when he is able to win the fight, he's given specific instructions, and when he's not able to win the fight, he's instructed to get the fuck out. So that's an interesting thing, and I, the reason why I make a point to say kill is that if he's in a fight he could potentially win, would it not be equally as good to get out of there alive? Because think about it. He's in a situation where he's outmatched and he's told to run. That means theoretically he could get away if he ran from the better creature. Mm -hmm. In a situation where he's against lesser creatures, he could probably also still run because they're less powerful than the other guy. Like if he can get away from the more powerful, he could probably get away from the less powerful. But the system instead says, you have to kill them. If you don't kill them, I will kill you. So the system is not only wanting him to live, but is pushing him to kill at times. Mm -hmm. Like, does that kind of make sense what I'm saying? Like the, yeah. that it's not just like, what are the instructions for the moment? Like, it's like, when it's possible, I want you to kill, it seems to be saying. Yeah. Which is like, and the only exceptions are when he statistically shouldn't be able to. Yeah. Interesting. Which is just like, what exactly is the goal of that system? And mm -hmm. how does that relate to the of life? Like, it's it's very, it's very mysterious. Like, I'm yeah. wondering, I still don't have the, an the reason why I'm engaging with this question more is I don't even have the answers to that yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm, we'll figure it out together. But uh, let's yeah. go to our final question. Final question. HBOM24 asks, do you expect Jinu will face the consequences of killing those men last episode, specifically the brother of a supposedly important figure in the hunter world? So the only one who saw anything who could potentially say anything was that kid who tried to offer him Jinho. the job, Jinho. Yes, but also we saw those agents being like a D rank and an E rank left after the boss was defeated and everybody else died. Like, mm -hmm. they, they have that fact. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely suspicious, but not provable. I think if they have a conversation with Jinho and he's like real weird about it, then that could potentially confirm something for them. But mm. if he doesn't say anything, then maybe not. So you're not worried about that brother? I'm not worried about the brother. Interesting. We'll have to see uh, what ends up happening with that situation, if he faces consequences or if it's even discovered. Uh, but that's where we're left for episode seven of Solo Leveling. Are we excited for episode eight? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go.